Mam na imię Beata, mam 32 lata i pochodzę z Polski. Ich wohne in Münster seit Februar 2018 und ich arbeite als Lehrerin und Projektleiterin. Um, I was born in Poland um, and most of my life I, I lived in a small town in the north of Poland. Um, it's called Dzierzgoń um, and it's about 90 kilometers from Gdańsk, which is a big and I guess famous Polish um, city port. Um, currently I work in three different places. Um, Benno House, it's a citizen center here in Münster. Uh, Creative House, um, it's very similar to Ben House, but it's more like a cultural center. And uh, the last but not least is uh, Fachhochschule Münster, University of Applied Sciences. Um, the combinations of those uh, three, uh, it's a challenge uh, because you need to organize your life um, in an efficient way, but it's possible to be done. And uh, my job is a combination of part-time and freelancing. Um, and even though it's a challenge, uh, I think I'm managing quite well. Um, for me, personally, uh, my life in Germany is really good. Um, and it seems like Münster is a perfect place for me, because it's a, it's a city of bicycles and I love cycling. If someone asks me if there are any differences between Poland and Germany, um, I would say yes. I am here since February 2018 and I already experienced some uh, surprising uh, events, let's call it like that. Uh, when I had my first classes at the University of Applied Sciences here in Münster, um, I had a group of, um, it was I guess around 10 students, and at the end of the classes they started knocking on the, on the table. And I was really surprised and I thought, okay, is it a good sign or a bad sign? Um, then I came back home and the first thing I did was googling what does it mean when German students do that? Um, and I learned that it's, um, they do that instead of clapping. Um, and it's usually saying thank you to, to, to the lecturer for the, for the classes. Another thing which I could mention when we are talking about differences between uh, Poland and Germany uh, would be that in Germany people seem to be more reserved and, then the, and they don't show emotions so much. And it was also my problem, or actually still is, uh, a small problem at the university because I am not able to, to say if the students um, are enjoying the lesson or maybe they are bored or maybe they just want to have the lesson done. Uh, of course, they smile sometimes when I joke, but I don't, I don't do that very often. Um, but I guess this is the way they are, um, the, the German students, I mean. Um, they just come there to the university to learn and to gain some knowledge, and this is the main reason for them. Um, me, personally, I'm a very open person. I'm um, sometimes very spontaneous and I like showing my emotions um, and this is maybe I see uh, this, I perceive this difference between uh, Poland and, and Germany. Of course I don't mind that, uh, but it's sometimes good to know what is the reaction uh, of the people. Um, currently I am attending a course, a German course, and I really enjoy the classes. Um, I think that uh, when you choose to, to live in a different country, so not your home, to, home country, you should learn the language of the people who live there. And also it's easier for you to feel part um, of the society then, because you can communicate easily with, with, with the people, and in this case uh, with the people here in Germany. Um, I understand German a lot, uh, but speaking is always difficult because I'm a perfectionist and I always want my sentence to be perfect. Here in Münster, I also have a possibility to be connected with some other Polish people. And there is an um, organization here, it's called uh, DPJA, which is a German-Polish um, youth academy, this would be the translation. Mm, and the guys are organizing once a month um, meetings, um, not only for Germans um, and Polish people, also others can join, but mainly for, for Polish and Germans. Um, and um, 
The Peyote A is a really uh, great way to um, exchange the ideas, to exchange the cultures, to exchange um, languages and to meet new people, both Polish and German. Um, I think um, organizations like the Peyote A is a really um, good way to, to see how the cooperation between the two countries works. And actually, thanks to that, we can build, build future um, connections.